Subscribe or you'll be visited by the toll troll. Do work from home chads of life so easy? I was work from home for 13 months and I was miserable. I like socializing. I can genuinely say it's not for everyone. Socializing with normies at an office sounds like rope fuel bra. I like socializing. So you are homosexual aren't you? Don't be part of the problem, be the entire problem. I'm working from home right now. I'm watching crappy B-80s movies on one screen, and meme posting with you bloody blasters on the other. But to be fair, they'll probably fire me in the next six months, assuming I can't keep gaslighting my boss into thinking this is all his fault. It's hell. I was working from home for a while then I got laid off, which is extra annoying because I was actually doing work. Now I'm just needing for a while because the thought of getting another job where I have to go into an office all the time makes me want to shoot myself in the face. Having to make small talk about the latest sports ball game, pretending like I'm actually happy to be there or else being told I have an attitude problem, listening to office ladies treat it like their extended fun family and spending all day doing everything, smelling bargain bin jeet coders stinking up the hallways with their reheated curry lunches and B.O., doing mandatory fun team building exercises, wasting my life in traffic every morning and evening surrounded by road raging regards who don't understand that tailgating and swerving in and out of lanes erratically isn't going to make the 500 cars in front of you magically disappear and open a pathway. Yes I do believe it's either another WFH for me or permanent netdom, there is no other option. Yes WFH is good because it's an arbitrage to get a high paying job and live in a low cost of living area, or a high cost of living area without high paying jobs. Do WFH chads have life so easy? Yes. WFH management is where it's at. I just delegate tasks all day while doing whatever I want. If I just put the bare minimum of effort in, maybe 8 hours a week, we hit our goals and renew our work orders. The key to WFH is that you are actually amazing at your job and don't need 40 hours a week to do it. I am FH, yes without W, OP is a fragart. My schedule. Wake up. Take meetings. Do maybe 1-2 to two hours of work. Vidya. Goon. Post goon nap. Work out. Go on one to two hour walks. Start on dinner with two hours left of the work day. It's a pretty blessed life but I have noticed some drawbacks. Social skills have degraded somewhat. 95% of my daily interactions are with my wife. Days pass by in what feels like seconds. Like you look at a clock one minute and it's barely 10. Look at it again the next minute and it's half past two. I think I'd probably prefer a hybrid schedule where I go into the office one to two times a week. Clock would move slower. I'm a WFH data scientist slash Al engineer making 200k and this stuff comes in waves really. Sometimes you're in full crunch mode not even having time to eat trying to ship something, and then sometimes you're just chilling delegating stuff to be slash fay devs. In any case I was a lead engineer, non-AL, in a smaller startup previously and that was way more stressful because I was just doing everything. Non-stop deadlines where I had to do almost all of it myself. So if you're doing remote either do UX to data science. UX is most chill because it's easy F and you don't have much work. But it also doesn't pay well. Data science is as described above, sometimes good sometimes bad. You also need to be actually talented for this, because management will crush you if your models don't actually, you know, work. But if they do, you're perceived as the smartest guy in the company and no one will F with you. Would not recommend management. Those guys are sitting in meetings all heck in day and have to talk to brain dead boomer clients. That stuff is actually soul destroying. I open WebEx for our daily 15 minute stand up meeting, camera off, of course. I'm on East Coast but they're on West Coast, so it's 12.30 to 12.45 pm for me. Can just sleep in however long I want. And then literally frig off for the rest of the day. Go do errands, gym, play vidya, whatever the heck I want. I moved out of California years ago and they're still paying me Cali money lol. 160k per year plus benefits for doing almost heckin' nothing. I'm the only one who knows the system and I can make everything sound extremely complex and time consuming when really all I do is SSH in and restart Apache once in a while. On top of that I WFH for another company in the crypto space for an extra 75k per year, and got to the point where I barely do anything for them, either. It is truly hilarious how much filthy money I rake in doing almost nothing. It can't last forever, I know that, but I have so much saved up now that I could coast for decades easily. Some of the staff actually still work in an office. God damn, I am so glad I don't have to deal with that stuff anymore. I'm working from home for 5 years now almost and I barely do anything. My company sometimes ask me things that can be done in an hour or two but I take a week to deliver. My bosses are not technical people, the company does cartoons, so they think coding is a complex magic of some sort. Most of the time I spent meme posting here or watching Coco Melon with my 18 months daughter. 
oh and I make four times what I used to working in my previous company. I have taken countless three to four hour lunch breaks over the past few years. I probably do two to three hours real work on average. Morning surge on caffeine high. Midday email check. Afternoon surge to respond the same day or before the database is locked before overnight update. Yeah pretty much. I mean, yeah WFH can be pretty easy depending on the context. I just got an IT job at a major insurance company and I'm not even monitored by my direct superior manager, I mostly talk with people from my squad at the daily meetings and the guy who assigned tasks and mentors me as a senior analyst who takes the role of scrum. Master slash product owner. But 95% of the time there's no pressure to deliver, so you go as you please and report your progress saying whatever stuff at the meetings. The HR, who has the power to fire you, has no idea how are you doing in the company and then it always stays pretty much the same. The tide certainly changes if you're working for a small startup specialized in the IT area. Sure you still will have the standard WFH flexibility, but you will actually have to work since you are supposed to take an important role inside the company and even the CEO will be aware of your actions by constant monitoring through the days, plus all the people know what the work is about. It's not a pleasant experience, you feel that you are always urged to deliver and people will demand actual results all the time. Now all of these advantages don't come with drawbacks. Your social life will be inexistent, you don't build a meaningful link with your coworkers, no matter how cool they are, you will have to hunt new people somehow to build your own social networks, it won't come naturally like school, university or workplace. You end your working week only to face an empty weekend with nothing meaningful to do, week after week. I am still struggling with this and it is visibly taking a toll on my mental health, some advice from fellow WFH Bizrelize would be much appreciated. Believing the LARP in OP screenshot. Either the OP that wrote that is lying or they work for a company that will file bankruptcy in the next few followed by layoffs. No company just lets their workers do nothing from home these days. The pandemic got management-wise to all the tactics. My face when I heard we'll have offshore employees slowly transition back to the office on a call. Best option is hybrid. One to two in office to network, socialize, etc. and then work from home a majority of the week. You don't even need to spend the whole day on those days. The time you save from commuting is amazing. I've learned German, worked out and have been able to read books on my list in that time instead of sitting in my car for hours or BSing with others who won't care if I quit tomorrow. I make time for my genuine friends and family and that's what really matters in the end. Hybrid. Work from home some days, random BJs from my homemaker wife when kid is napping. When an office lunch is catered, I'm alone in my office all day with no one bothering me. Work on personal projects about 20% of time. Work on work about 50% of time. Meme posts slash watch YouTube vids the other time. Small, conservative software company with no deliverables and very steady income. Great job, here's a 25% raise because the economy is insane. Thanks, yeah that Biden is something else. Side project is producing cash flow now. Prospects for management position in the next year or two. Easy peasy. Don't you guys like sitting in traffic? You get to drive your car. I have a WFH BD job paying 100k, living in Midwest. I don't work. There is no oversight. My boss is an old boomer lady that doesn't bother me. Never going back in the wagey cage. If they downsize me I'll debt max and go on welfare. My Asian wife loves rimming my butthole. I've been WFH since 2015 other than like 7 months in an office at one point. I'm an Adobe After Effects guy so I constantly have to put out actual animated videos. Maybe you guys can help me here. I've been freelancing this whole time and this past year finally cleared 6 figs, 108k. My expenses are obviously higher since I'm self-employed, but since I have multiple stable clients I can truly frig off at any time and say I'm booked by someone else. I also take around 2 months total off each year. That's the big ticket item. But I do have to work on an hourly basis, yes I pad them, and if I'm not actively working on a project I'm not making money. I see WFH jobs that I qualify for listed with salaries sometimes up to 150k plus. I think, boy that would be cushy and I'd get paid even when they don't necessarily have something for me to be doing. But they all have limits on the days you can take off. Like 2 paid weeks a year then 10 holidays? The fridge is that? I don't know if I can take unpaid time off. I've been applying to them for fun and don't want to throw away something good. But it's not like a web-based job which is largely maintenance. Design might be too productive. At least hourly I can just bill 3 to 4 hours for a 30 minutes task. Can anyone attest to a similar WFH salary position versus freelance? I really like my fridge off time. I actually work my ace off from home. 
It is the only place I can concentrate in so I have to make up for the two days I waste in the office. Work from home jobs are almost impossible to get. I work a 60k WFH job but has offers for in person 100k that I didn't take because WFH is that much better. I trade meme coins for a living day trading. Yes it is that easy. WFH is great as long as your hobby slash social life does not revolve around your job. You would be surprised to know how sadly common that is. Yeah, I was WFH fully March 2020 to May 2022. It was great at first but then started to get very monotonous and every day just blended together. I had a lot of anxiety and dread when it was announced we'd have to do two days a week in the office, but it's a perfect balance. I met some cool dudes that started during the pandemic that I had never met. We all sit together and just BS all day. I always thought I didn't need social interaction as I'm a typical introvert, but it's pretty obvious how that social interaction basically benefits everyone. I don't have many friends, my best friend moved to another state, so it's nice talking to people other than my wife. We go out sometimes after work. Next week we are gonna do hot pot. Should be fun. I would like to have some sort of hybridization but I am an industrial slash manufacturing engineer so I kinda have to show up. In the right situation it isn't so bad. My coworkers are S++ based here. The work is interesting and challenging. Most weeks I frig off after 40 hours. I don't work the entire time, maybe 6 out of 8 hours. I learn a butt ton about stuff. The only problem is that WFH is primarily coding only. I could do data stuff or programming, but I don't love it that much. I always saw coding as a means to achieve a result, never a primary job. I also hate the Fregart ace coder culture, whereas real engineering still has good cultures. Are there hybrid manufacturing engineering jobs where I could WFH 1-3 to three days a week? I'm working from home right now lol. I'm WFH for the government, I make 75k as a data analyst, I'm an asset that is lent out to the unit when they need or want to conduct research. Fortunately, everyone is incredibly busy with other tasks and have little to no time with research so I have like only one or two projects going on where I write very basic data cleaning scripts and are some days I literally will send only two teams messages, otherwise the laptop is closed. I will hover around my room to be able to respond to emails or pings when they are sent. Otherwise they also gave me a work phone so I can take that and get Teams messages and emails that way as well, allowing me to go to the gym. Occasionally during the three years I've been doing this, I will actually need to do work for some projects that require implementing a more complicated statistical process like bootstrapping slash randomization distributions of beta. Coefficients and regression models, but those have been rare. I'm young so while I appreciate the free time to actually be a gunning degenerate, I want to get promoted or internally job hop to earn more money so I can acquire more crypto. But I am afraid I have lost all of my work ethic and might lose my comfy leisure. My favorite coins are BTC, ETH, Litecoin, Link, and Rune. I also enjoy dating Asian women and they seem to enjoy showing me off a high status white boy to their other female friends. It comes and goes. If there's a big project push then your ace belongs to the company including weekends and god help you if you need to fly somewhere to monkey dance for a customer, but most of the time it's zero to two hours of actual work, and then I go ride motorcycles or watch anime or go swimming in summer. Total permanent victory mode occurs when you get a job without daily stand-up so you can keep your own hours for even the limited work you're actually doing. For chud non, ha ha I literally do nothing now that I wfh, maybe 15 minutes of work per week at most checking emails. Breaking news, all workers expected to be back in the officer by next year. For chut and on, no you can't do that to me, I'm so much more productive at home Ray. Keck is this the new neat meme? Cause this makes wagey seethe way more. The only grace wagey ever had was getting paid, but a WFH is killing that too. Is it too late for me to become a WFH chad?